Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to Lithuania and take another look at one of their military single meal menus. Now this particular menu is the NR3. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And as you can see, I now have here on the table this Lithuanian NR3. Now I believe this one is stewed beef with pearl porridge, pearl barley porridge. It's in a very simplistic green strong bag, similar to the Polish MREs and the American MREs, obviously a different colour to the US ones. There does seem like there is an easy tear little strip at the top here. Um, I always find them difficult, so I'm just going to bring in my little friend just to help slit across the top there. Now I've had a few of these now, um, so I sort of know what to expect, but not this particular menu. This is the stewed beef with pearl barley porridge. So straight off the bat, it seems to be, it's very unusual, it seems to be heat shrunk to the top there. But we have a very simplistic looking accessory bag and I'm going to open that now just to have a look. We have some chocolate, so there's a chocolate bar. We have some, I think that is uh, jam, so some chocolate, some jam. This one is some chicken broth, so a chicken soup. I've not had too many of those, so that'll be nice to try those again. There is a vitamin C drinks powder and some sugar. So no tea or no coffee. We have the mains, which is in a little separate bag. And these mains come with the flameless ration heater, so there is the FRH and the pack of stewed beef. I've actually got this in English translation there. Stewed beef with pearl barley mash. So it'd be interesting to try that one. I've not had that particular menu. We also have a simplistic set of fuel tabs spoon, matches and towelette. There is the folding stove to go with the fuel tabs. We also have a nice pack of almonds. These are plain simple almonds, not roasted or salted. And last but not least, the infamous SU-1 Crackers, panzer plates, they are also seen in the Polish rations. So, this is the contents of this Lithuanian NR3. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And so, as you can see, I now have the contents of this Lithuanian NR3 ration laid out on a tray. Now, I've preheated the mains, the stewed beef with pearl barley, um, but there's a little bit more preparation to do. There is no hot drink as such with this particular one, so the hot beverage is going to have to be the soup. Now, this is a chicken broth. I don't know if you can just about make that out. It says chicken broth. And it does ask for 400 millilitres of boiling water or hot water. So that's pretty much a full mug. So down the contents, it does say the main ingredient is salt. So I'm expecting it to be quite salty. And we'll just pour that in there. And using the spoon which came with the pack, we'll just give that a full mug of water. And then we'll just leave that to do its thing. 
good mix. Try and not let the spoon melt. I did once with these Lithuanian rations stir a boiling water and the spoon melted. They're not known for their extreme strength. Now the next thing I need to do is the other drink is the cold drink. There is a cherry flavoured instant vitamin C drink. I have noticed there is a large 12 gram bag of sugar but without any coffee I can't really see what I put that in. So I'm probably not going to use that this time and I'm just going to put this rather clumpy cherry flavoured drink with these these Lithuanian rations a clumpy juice drink is a sort of norm so I'm just going to bring in some cold water this time to mix that one you could make this with hot water also on a cold day but today I'm just going to give it a glass of cold good mix very heavily sugar based so it's taken a lot of dissolving in cold water might have to come back to that give that some more in a short while and again I just use my spoon now moving round I can't see a need for the 12 grams of sugar so I put that to one side and uh, take a look at the chocolate I've had these a few times before now, I've had quite a few Lithuanian rations the only thing which really seems to change is the main menu but even they are very similar so there is two dark about 50 or 60 percent cocoa chocolate blocks there we have some uh, we translated this it's actually black currant jam so it's a little tour of black currant I believe in the US a lot of countries that don't actually have black currant but here in the European Union in the EU or Europe black currant is a very common theme for those in the US it's very similar to a blackberry jam my infamous SU1 hardtack biscuits there is a pack of four again these are the exact same ones you find in the Polish rations hard tack caraway seeds basic white wheat cracker and we have a bag of almonds my Lithuanian rations seem to always have a bag of almonds or a bag of hazelnuts one or the other it's one of those contents that never seem to change but they're usually of good quality so let's mix some of those it's a large bag a very large bag that's just took the few off the top there more than enough for tasting and finally we'll have a look at the mains this has been boiled for 10 minutes it says stewed beef with pearl barley mash so let's give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a knead nice tear open strip at the top there so pour that into there it does actually look like a a type of corned beef again these Lithuanian rations most of the meals look very similar they might have different main ingredients in there but they're very very similar looking so looks like a corned beef corned beef and pearl barley mix there it does smell very fragrant it does smell very nice it's a nice mix of herbs and spices so i think i'm going to start straight off with the chicken broth so it's a thin looking broth a few little floaties of what look like it looks like black pepper so a little taste of that mm -hmm. as i suspected it's extremely salty There is a slight chickeny taste, very much like um, we have a, in the UK a gravy, or I think in the US they call them bullion cubes. It just tastes like a, an oxo chicken gravy or an oxo or a bullion chicken flavoured drink. It's quite thin, quite watery. 
extremely salty but it is still a warm comforting hot drink and I'm going to move on to the vitamin C cherry flavoured drink mm -hmm. delicately flavoured artificial cherry flavour most people would have had a soft drink with that artificial cherry flavouring um, it that said it's cool it's refreshing it's full of sugar iron energy nice tasty refreshing mouth cleanser so let's move straight on to the stewed beef with mash pearl barley mash a little bit of mix round let's try and get a little bit of everything all together as you can see you can see the the difference in shades between the beef and the barley mm -hmm. very dry basic seasoning salt pepper there is no other salt and pepper in the pack so there's no other option to season it it's comforting warming filling basic flavors the mash is a little bit on the dry side I suppose I could I suppose I could just try this is like a, a chicken gravy, chicken stock so I'm going to give it a stir and before I go mad I'm just going to give it a little a couple of spoons of the soup let's see if that moistens things up a little bit as you can see it's mixed in making like a gravy don't know if you can see that I've made like a little gravy in there mm -hmm. for me that's much better it's much more moist in fact I've got a few more spoons of that the extra salt and pepper also Gives it a bit more flavour and mix that all in, making like a good, good gravy. Moisten it down. Wow, that's absorbed all of that, and it looks like it would take a little bit more. So it was in need, it was in need of a bit of moisture. That's all been pretty much absorbed. And for me that's improved things it's now easy to, to swallow not so first provoking the saltiness of the bouillon or soup drink has actually helped with the flavour also of the main dish for me certainly that was the way to go add a little bit more flavour and much needed moisture so I'm just going to refresh my palate as always the hard tack SU1 biscuits caraway seeds extremely hard snap a piece off in your finger don't try and bite it not if you don't want to lose your front teeth add them to the dish would be best if you could leave them and have a little taste there, just a good all round bulking agent. Mm -hmm. I suppose you could also drop a few in the soup, a few chunks there, and leave them to soften, become almost like croutons. I'm just going to leave those a little while to soften, see what happens to them. Refresh. Palette. Moving on still further, we have, let's go to the less sweet ones first, some of the almonds, very large bag of plain straight out of the shell almonds. As always, good quality, fresh tasting, straight out of the shell almonds, no roasting, no salting, just straight out of the shell. That said, 
a high energy, large pack of good quality almonds. Again, just going to wash those out of my mouth. Now we also have the blackcurrant jam. The only thing really you've got the jam to go on in this dish, I suppose, is the biscuits or the crackers. So I'm going to ruin my teeth and use the side of my mouth to just break that off. Just try some of the jam. Wow. Good quality jam. Not sure if the hard tack caraway seed cracker is the best thing to go on. I suppose you could use some of the nuts, nuts on the jam, or jam on the nuts. Hmm. Certainly does them no harm in a different way of freshly not giving you a different take on a simple plain nut but the jam sweet tasty well set good quality plenty of fruit flavor and finally look at the chocolate there's two little bricks no blooming nice snap Little chocolate, nice flavour, approximately 55-60% cocoa, the ideal combination to get the difference between the bitterness of the cocoa and the sweetness of the sugar mix. Also it melts on your tongue, nice melting coating, comforting chocolate, good quality chocolate. I'm just going to quickly come back and try one of these hard tap biscuits that seems to have softened still quite firm but a little bit gentler on the teeth absorbs the soup but doesn't add any real flavour So, overall, a very simplistic, but with the addition of a few items with each other, a very tasty, very enjoyable, simple meal. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So, thank you, and goodbye.